Hi my friends, today we try to model this uh, object from a light bulb. Its dimensions are here and uh, maybe you know uh, this is a Edison thread. Edison thread has uh, uh, standard dimensions uh, the most useful uh, light bulb is E27, which means Edison 27 millimeters. Its dimensions are uh, main dimensions, pitch and radius. You see here pitch and you see here radius. For E27, these dimensions are 3.629 millimeters and the radius is 1.025 millimeters. There is a, a tolerance here for the cap or the socket. This is the socket, this is the cap. We model a cap and uh, that uh, kind of uh, uh, solution has uh, 26.45 maximum and 26.15 minimum. I measured that uh, cap presented and I found 26.20 or 26.2 the minor diameter is uh, here you see this is the major and this is the minor I measured uh, uh, light bulb and I uh, uh, try to make this uh, shape of the light bulb cap good my solution is this you see very interesting very nice I forgot to place here collapse all ch children because you want to see main features. Here you see here how it looks. There is a problem with finishing this uh, uh, end of the thread but we have solutions for everything we must have the drawing is this it seems to be complicated but only some aspects are complicated we'll see right now before that I want to draw your attention to some general aspects regarding the presentation of my tutorials. We all know that when a baby starts talking, they quickly end up asking a recurring question. Why? In my tutorials, I always asked myself this question, trying to prevent yours. I can see in your comments that you appreciate this procedure. You must know that I myself would have wanted something like this when I found out about the Autodesk Inventor program and had no idea where and how to start. You will see that uh, in this tutorial especially I will repeatedly ask myself the question why. We start by creating two parameters 
the two parameters are from the definition of uh, the Edison thread. 3.629 is the pitch. A radius 1.025 is the radius. We'll start by creating these two parameters. Why? Because I want to use these two parameters during this tutorial. Standard millimeters IPT, start new sketch, XY plane. We always try to connect the first sketch with this point, the center point. Why? Because we want to have a position and uh, the space for our sketch and we'll use it in the future referring the same point always this is why fx is uh, for parameters you find this in manage tab in manage tab you see parameters right click this add to quick access toolbar and you'll see there this tool in the toolbar i did this and i don't need to make now the same uh, procedure fx add numeric edison pitch to be 3.629 and the other one is also numeric and its name is E radius be careful with the major and minor characters This is uh, 1.025. Done. Okay. The first feature we create is uh, a cylinder with a diameter of 26.2 and length 21 with uh, 5 at uh, 45 degrees chamfer. Why? Because we'll apply coil and we want to have a support for that coil. Cylinder from uh, the center point up somewhere and going back to the beginning this is uh, center line why because I want to place here diameters since we have diameters here not radii 26.2 then uh, 21 5 millimeters is this chamfer five and the angle of 45 you see we can use a rectangle and uh, 
chamfer to apply this but I wanted to create by myself everything in this first sketch then finish sketch revolve since we have only one axis center line and only one close contour the revolution is applied automatically okay as I said we continue with the coil but to apply this uh, tool we need a sketch a sketch in the plane XY you can ask why XY why not XZ because XY has uh, the main axis X and Y and uh, we use them very easily and uh, comfortable F7 and we respect now the drawing with these dimensions pitch radius and this diameter 24.008 we start with a large sketch to control it a horizontal uh, an arc you keep pressed this last point mouse button on this last point and continue to the left tangent then we end somewhere keep press the left button and continue with another arc like this one then you go to the last point we have four tangencies here yes escape the pitch is a parameter we know the parameter the parameter is uh, E pitch good this uh, sketch is homothetical with the previous one to the center yes if you like geometry you know this this is the center for homothety always the other dimension is also a parameter the parameter is e radius okay then we have to apply project x axis make it center line and place a dimension that uh, 24.008 as a diameter 24.008 and we have this placement of the of our sketch then I project also the upper generator in order to apply alignment between this alignment between uh, this uh, new projection and this line then I place on the right end 
the coincidence between these two. Now we have one dimension missing here, which is, let's see, apply the parallelism which is uh, now implied. Yes, we have fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch. You can ask why is placed the sketch to the right and not to the left. And I answer to this question. Wait, my friends, and you will see. Coil. E pitch is already selected here, but we can use these parameters to select with no problems. Here we apply eight coils to have room for everything to the left. The profile is already selected, the axis are already selected automatically and we apply cut not join okay what we see here we see a nice uh, threaded cylinder with uh, exactly the Edison thread to continue we have to take a look at the drawing. You see this 21 dimension is for this left point of the coil. That point is uh, uh, this one. Yes. And uh, we have to number the coils so that we double click here and we take a look at the area. This point is interesting for us and not this one, which is the center of gravity of this uh, uh, contour. We number, this is the the eight, this is the seven, this is the sixth one. We simply change this eight with six. And we see where finishes the, the coil. You see, we are interested in this contour, the maximum diameter, this one maximum diameter coil uh, uh, line. That uh, maximum diameter is somewhere here. We create a new plane by selecting that specific coil and its end. This one. Now we have a plane, work plane, very interesting because we can measure how many uh, number of coils we have to apply. This is six and this is uh, less than six. The angle between the two we can measure by using the tool measure. By using the key on the keyboard M from Monaco. We select the two planes and we find the angle. The angle is 76.79. We select this value to use next. Done. This is no necessary we can delete it 
is dead then we double click on coil and we subtract here an unitless value minus paste without uh, the measure divided by 360 yes not one coil but this uh, value is uh, uh, the one we uh, use I forgot to tell you that uh, this is the right hand uh, uh, coil even if we start it from the right to the left okay now you see very clear that this point is the end of this at, 20, at 21 this face is 21 from uh, this one very interesting and very useful now we take a look at the drawing you see here there is a section DD placed here and another section EE which is placed right here you see that the uh, coil is continued with the radius of 50 the radius is on the bottom of the coil which means here in this very point good and the center of this radius is right here at uh, this uh, scale of the drawing let's see what to do next this point marks the end of the coil you see we start from this point to create that uh, cut we start by creating a plane plane based on uh, this curve and this end of the curve you must see now that this plane is perpendicular on the coil it is not aligned with this this is uh, dimensioned uh, with uh, uh, the profile of the thread and we have to create a cut starting from this plane and not this face in order to create a correct work we have to eliminate this tiny uh, volume between uh, this plane and the new plane now you have the answer to the question why yes <laughs> we select this face now and we create a sketch since we use a projection automatic projection we have the the area for extrude we apply extrude now from this area to the plane with cut of course okay this is uh, not more useful and as you can see we have a cut here we use this face which is sloped not uh, in uh, the plane XY yes not in this plane 
but in uh, uh, this one. The plane of work is this one. We create a sketch on that plane and we draw a line as axis but we don't convert it to center line because the dimension is uh, the radius here. Now we have to place a dimension from this line to this midpoint but you see we don't have possibility to select this point. This is why I select the center of the radius and we all understand that this is not 50 but 50 minus oh 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 e radius you see not from here starts but from here so that we have to subtract something okay now I can make this center line and I also can create the revolve. There is a center, there is a closed contour, so we have this uh, circle. Okay. You see, we have here that final cut of the coil. We continue by adding an extrusion here. Why? Because uh, the length of this part is 24.4, not 21. But because we will apply shell tool, we extend uh, that 21 by uh, adding the difference and subtracting this 0 0.3 and uh, 0 0.6 so that we go right here. The dimension here is the difference between all that dimensions. Good, let's uh, apply this. Extrude. On this face, 24.4 minus 21 is already placed here, but we have to subtract also 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. Okay. I don't want to forget some uh, fillets. Radius 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Fillets. Zero point five and here this is the one. Okay, we continue with the hole here, which has dimensions diameter thirteen and end to one. Then another fillet 13 1 hole face center distance 
this end, not this end, with uh, one as a uh, depth. Here is uh, thirteen point four. Okay. Very interesting. Now we focus on uh, this punches. You see uh, this. There are eight of them. We start by drawing with dimensions radius 2 at a distance of 1.5 from the external, not internal, because it doesn't exist, uh, line, then uh, a circle of uh, 0 0.5 diameter at a distance of 2.5 and in position of 1.2 millimeter. This radius of 0 0.5 will apply after we create the punch, yes, because it is not a flat face but a cylindrical face. Now let's do this. XY sketch project upper generator F7 and we draw an arc somewhere here to be visible lines This line must be center line. The distance between this line and this is 0 0.3 arbitrarily. But then we use the dimensions in the drawing 2 millimeters diameter of uh, point 0.5 position of this center is uh, one point two No, 1.5, excuse me, 1.5, and uh, I apply this dimension of uh, 1.2. I move the sketch inside here and I apply the distance of 1.5. You see, this is a distance 1.5. Fully constrained. I don't like such distance dimensions so I move them near the part. Now we make this construction line 
finish sketch, revolve, and we have a cut. Okay, fillet, 0 0.5 as you remember, then circular pattern of that both revolution and fillet about this axis eight instances now we take a look at the drawing to see what is the thickness 0 0.3 why because we apply shell and we have to know the thickness yes the thickness is already three I made this before of course remove faces is selected by default I remove this face and you can see inside I remove this face and you also can see inside but I have to also eliminate this button faces of each of that eight punches to three be careful not to select uh, this but only this end or button face this and I suppose two more I suppose we finish right now seven is this and eight is the last okay good the last thing to do is this feature of small flange here dimensions are here as you can see internal is radius 0 0.6 and the distance is 0 0.6 this means that this line is coincident with this center Let's do this XY plane sketch project. We project this upper generator F7. We also project uh, this internal generator. We make them both as construction lines and now we apply line not arc from this point to the left restart from this point to the left and we apply coincidence between these two points and on the same horizontal these two points and these two points we draw a connection line here this is 0 0.6 between these two is 0 0.6 I place 0 0.6 and that's all finish sketch Revolve that contour is not selected. Yes, it is not selected because control Z because I didn't draw a terminal line. 
line from this point to this point finish sketch revolve now it automatically selected this and inventor waits for the axis the axis is uh, this x yes okay now we have finished our nice part let's apply the material stainless steel let's eliminate the the edges by selecting shaded simple shaded and now we compare with this you see no difference let's see what is the volume of this new part I properties physical update copy close drawing double click here on the text and I place that uh, result there is a small difference so that I keep that new um, value okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye